just about to chum up for some massive pollock which are living underneath the jetty here. Blow your head. So as you've just seen, we've just got here, we've put the beach rods out, they're fishing. I've just caught a cod on a shad, only a small one. Stu's chucked her head over and a massive pollock's come up and took it. So we're rushing around like children, <laughs> trying to get our rigs ready. We're gonna free line ahead. So what I've got to do now is tie an FG knot. Just to my gnaw rod. Stu, can you just hold this a minute? Yeah. It's a better angle. No, I'll put it here. Just hold that, two seconds. I need the angle. So yeah, we're like, aren't we? Always, kids? We're always like kids. Yeah, we're always like this, by the way. <laughs> got a slight issue, I think, yep. <laughs> oh, there's, some, there's one taking it. It's not a big one, that one, though. There's a big one. That's a bigger one there. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Like one, yeah, nice. Yes. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> <come on>. <laughs> <laughs> you got him. Jesus, Thomas. I think you had about three of the smaller ones. <laughs> Yeah, that's a nice fish. Why well don't Stu? Just <laughs> get him out from under the jetty. Yeah, you're gonna have to bully that one out. Oh, that's a struggle, isn't it? Yeah, get him out, mate. Um, get him up on top. There he is. Yeah, nice. It's a nice pollock, that. We we'll have to hand him up, won't we? I'll take him onto the side now. Yeah. Look at that. What a beauty. It's got ten pounds in it. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> there you are. That's brilliant, wasn't it? Brilliant fun. Yeah, that's a nice that's pollock. That's a cracking that. pollock. There's bigger ones down there. Eh? Yeah. There's three lying in the head down to them. I know. We've got it all on camera. Absolutely brilliant fun. Oh, it's one nil to Wales. Got it. Oh well. I hope it stays like Elliot does the game as well. Be a cracking pollock, man. Oh, well, well done, mate. Well, well done. done. Heading up the west coast in the morning to find a place where no one knows our faces or our names. It's been a waiting day. I finally got one. Ah, uh, one all. It's taken a while since the first fish, but we got one now. It's smashed up. Well, oh, that's a nice colour, wasn't we? Not as big as yours. Yeah, uh, you know, these things happen. Yeah. Do you know what's happened? What? You, you, you've hooked that little pollock and you've got and him. I know, yeah, that's it. I was just thinking that. Stu's got another one. This one's going mad. Just hand it up if you want. <laughs> and there we are. Blue ragworm. It's a massive one, isn't it? Yeah, so we've got them feeding on bait. We've chummed it up. But they're a bit weary of our hook baits. So we've got some ragworm, haven't we? Yeah. Let's have a look. And they seem to like a bit of rag, don't they, Stu? <laughs> they definitely do. Yeah. On that circle there. Great for them, eh? Waiting for the halibut. Halibut rods are quiet, aren't they, mate? Yeah, we need a bit more tide than we. Yeah. Definitely need a bit more tide. Keep the baits going in. We're having a go. See if we can get a bite on camera. Just a head hook rag. We'll seal these fish down in. Hopefully, you can see it on camera. Trying to sort the bigger ones out, do not it? Yeah. There's one. It's a big one. He's taking it. Can you take that? Oh, you just wasn't waking up. That's an absolute beauty. I hope you can see that on camera. There he is. Come back. They seem so much more confident with work. Yeah. I think once you walk a couple of them on fish, they just change over, don't they? Yeah. Hold 
this won't be no looking. Yeah. Oh. That's one, wasn't it? Yeah. Is that cool thing? Oh, yeah. Him? Yeah, yeah. So there's a few coal fish down here as well as pull it. Yeah. Well, yeah, we had a cod here earlier, didn't we? Yeah. I don't know where he's gone. It's like an aquarium down there. Yeah. Fantastic fishing, isn't it? Yeah, it's amazing. Unbelievable. How many places you can... Do you have a take then? Yeah, got him. Got him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm going to worm look up by the side of him. I know. That's another one going for it still. Well, Stu. I said, yeah, where's all the way, Jim? That's a good question, isn't it? Can't bring them up. Yeah, they have to walk that round. Come on, Lenny. There's one there. Not as many as Stu. Yeah, I've got one. <laughs> nice fish. Not as big as your one, is it? Uh -huh. Face doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Not much going on with the big rods, so we're still messing around like children. It's free two to wells at the moment, so I'm not really happy about it. But that's a pullet. We're still on the fish. We're fishing and we're catching fish. We're just not catching halibut yet, are we? That's slow, isn't it? We need the tide to pick up a little bit more again. We need a little bit more tide and hopefully those big butts to come through. And we all like a big butt. Welcome back. Hello. So as you've seen this morning, we've just messed around catching a few pollock. It's been pretty quiet. We've not had any runs or any bites on the big rods. So what I'm going to do now is show you my rig. So if you watched my last video, you in? Sorry, Stu's into a fish. Should we go and see him? Just leave me alone. Four two now that'd be. Come on, England. That's a better one, Stu. No, it's about the same size. Is it? I can't get that big one. Is it the big one? Yeah. You have caught the big one. No, I can't get him. He's quite wary. Oh, yeah. Down. Oh, my God. Nice strong rod. He's brilliant, these, huh? Yeah. There you go. Four or three. Bad bit of fun. <laughs> yeah. no, it's actually four two. But well done. Like the kisser. We were talking to you about our rigs, or I was. And you just caught another pollock. Yeah. Again, four, two to wells. Plenty of time though. So, as we were explaining, it's a basic up and over rig. But there's something a little bit different about the end. Firstly, it rattles. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk through the rig? Yeah, Since yeah. you um, invented it. Yeah, of course, man. And the reasons behind it. Um, yeah, over the years, I've been a lot of years coming to uh, Norway now. Um, we found up and over rigs where they laid on the bottom. There's a lot of crab here and they were just devouring it. Yeah. Plus the halibut like to feed um, mid-water. Obviously they come along, they're looking up. Um, so we did use, use pop-ups, pipe pop-ups. We used to hold the bait like that. Um, but we used to have a lot of mistakes, as, as you know. Um, but then after going to South Africa and you see how they fished. Obviously incorporated super high density foam um, where we bait elastic um, the hook to it. And also we deployed a uh, uh, lure rattle in it, because Wayne said it, it rattles, and the foam actually amplifies the sound. Um, so all we do then simply is cut the head and tail of a mackerel, split him down his middle, and um, put the foam inside, and whip it back up, and what it does then, it holds the fish suspended in the water. Yeah. Um, and you can actually pay line out and adjust the height you want it in it. So then we've got a finished version. Um, as you can see, there's the mini mackerel, with the foam inside it. Um, with the circle hook on top, 
and then the eight door there. And what it does, it just allows you to suspend the, the bait yeah, in mid water. Proves be proving the rig again. Every time I come out here, you know, it's, it's brilliant. Well, yesterday I fished for five hours. It could be yeah. anything to do with the tide, yeah, yeah. like I was saying, and I didn't use this rig. No. As soon as I put it on, straight into the cold fish, yeah, yeah. had it, had five or six runs. Yeah, yeah. My, I missed, my, a, I yeah. missed a halibut run. A 12 pound and I had came on this right away. Yeah. Just the tide, that's all. Bit just of tide. The tide. We've not had any so far, so we've actually just been messing around, haven't we? Yeah, slow for the halibut at the moment. We've been putting baits out, but with halibut fish fishing, you can't sort of make it happen. No. Um, you just got to wait for tide and hope they're there. We've kept the baits going in. Yeah. But now we've got a little bit of tide. And if we don't get any halibut in daytime, you don't normally get them at night, but the cod normally turn up. Yeah, especially in this month. So where we are in recent years, we've come here, blanked on the halibut, yeah. it's gone dark, and we've had some beautiful yeah, yeah. cod, haven't we? Yeah. Twenties. Big... When it's herring boats just netted in front of us, a big ton of herring. Yeah, we'll just show you something in a minute. So we were just fishing, and these three boats have come in, and they just power netted massive pools of herring so it's a bit of a shame it shouldn't really affect the fishing i don't think but there would have been fish here yeah and the boys on the other mark would have been running for me and they just netted right in front of them all the herring yeah so if you look behind those boats there's a rock mark and um, we've got five guys on there or four guys and they've had a halibut run and they've caught a few cod and now these guys have just come in and netted in front of them so shame. that's the way it is Pretty much the same all over the world, not just in the UK. Killing it. She's got half a herring. I've got my special needle to hold it. That's what I do, just like normal, tie it off. This will pop up lovely. Yeah, so the mark we're fishing, you don't really get small halibut, they're all massive, or pretty big. So it's not the sort of fishing where you come and catch 10, you know, some people have, but it's very rare. Pull that. And there we go. Popped up herring in Norway fishing for halibut what more can you ask for maybe a halibut the arctic blast let's get this out there Yes. Is it a big one? Yep. Oh. oh. Yeah, it is as well. What are you doing to it? I <laughs> stop. <laughs> you have got the big one at last. Yeah, yeah, that those little fish. Yeah. You just come up and engulf the little fish, but my worm was by the little fish. Look, yeah. my worm's up the line now. Oh yeah. Nice. Oh, you have. It's cold, isn't it? Though. <laughs> Look like a coley then. Sure it's not a coley? No, oh, it's that white one. It's mm -hmm. been hanging around all day. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's a nice fish out. Uh. Well done. It took a while, didn't it? Look at that. Another cracker. Well done, mate. Yeah. Got him on a circle. Yeah, circle look again. Straight in the kisser. Live rag going. Head up rag going down there. What a beauty. All the small fish come round and they just come up from underneath to me. And just ball them up. Yeah, I don't know if they're eating the small fish or just, they're just mouth open. It's brilliant fun, isn't it? Yeah, good fun, mate. Yeah. All we need now is one of the big rods to hammer off. Yeah, we've got plenty of tight now, haven't we? Not being funny, we've had like, like 10 pollock. Hmm, easy 10 pollock. 
one of them. What was the big, the first one? It's 11. Yeah. 11 pounds. We probably had two doubles and some yeah. sevens and eights, and we're like, oh, it's all right. We'll just catch a few of these until the big fish turn yeah. up. Yeah, it's great fun, isn't it? Imagine catching that in the UK. I know. We're all over it. We landed, we know. He's into another fish. Still quiet on the big rods. We've got plenty of tide, so we're pretty confused why we haven't had anything. We're just doing a bit of shadding now for cod, and I think Stu's got one. Let's take you to have a look. What do you think, Stu? Little one? Yeah, not a very big one, Wayne. No? But it's nice on the shad rod. Yeah. Slow one, y'all, a bit. I don't think those... There's more, even more herring boats turned up now, and they? they proper net in that yeah, bay. Yeah, have a look this way. There's the herring boats there. Just going round and round and round and netting. It's not really helped us. Let's have a look at this fish here. You must have had that right out there. Yeah, right in the channel. The 60 gram jing head, you know, bouncing yeah. along about them. Get away with it, you have sand in it. Yeah, there you can. Don't look like a cod. Oh, you foul up then. <laughs> it is a cod. Look at that. What an upside down one. Yep. <laughs> That's all that matters. Tiny, any? Let's have a look at him. Oh dear. A kelpie. Little kelpie. As you can see, it's now dark. Me and Stu haven't actually had a bite, but we've gained some friends. So we've got four more of the guys. The surfing members come down to do a bit of fishing. Get over to you. Like you just spoke about, um, they got uh, moved off one of the marks, which is normally a good mark. They were doing quite well there. They had a few pollock and some coddling and that. Um, and we've got the, the novices here. Um, they've already been sea fishing now for a year. Yeah. Um, and we've brought them along. Um, and they're doing really well. You were yeah. like you had them for casting now and we're watching them here. They turned up. <laughs> they've caught more fish yeah, than us. They, yeah, they're catching more fish than us. And that's um, fine. That's what we want. Yeah, yeah. Been a long day, no all about today, but I think I was down to the some net and herring over there. They just cleaned out that day. He was um, one of the boats was nearly sinking among the herring. He pulled on. I know, yeah. We watched a boat pull his nets. They had that much fish and mm. then he tipped them over. Yeah, and then he phoned his friends and there was a whole gang of them netting it, which, you know, I, I understand they say business and we just out there fishing and we can't stop them and say livelihood. Yeah, but the trouble is with this area and what we're fishing for, halibut, it's not something that you get every cast. No. Like, we could have had a hundred pound halibut each today. Yeah, this is the market getting them on. But we haven't had any. No, not a bite. But, but that's just the way it is. Yeah, that's fishing. But we'll keep fishing. It's got dark. Hopefully we can get a few cod lin or cod to yeah, finish off cod, the video. Yeah. If not, it's real fishing. Yeah. It's the same as the UK. Definitely. It's just the way it is. Anyway, thanks to you. No worries, mate. So in Norway, anything can happen. So we're still using pop-ups. Look at that. Popped up. Massive baits. And now that is what you call whiting. What a beauty. A Norwegian whiting. Massive. Nailed that pop-up bait. What a beauty. Massive, isn't it? That's a good whiting, man. Look at all those pop-ups, Stuart. Anyway, that's a Norwegian whiting. Don't get many of them in the UK. Thanks, Mr. Whiting. He has absolutely nailed that. It's a fish, all right? I'm happy with it. Welcome back. Welcome back to Norway. Welcome back to the session. As you can see, it's still dark, so we haven't stayed all night. It's just what it is. So, obviously today, Stu and I had come out halibut fishing, and we've not caught a halibut. We've caught lots of other fish, and we've had an okay session, just not brilliant. Stu's just wound in a nice cold fish. Where is it spinning around? Nice one to finish off with. 
So we've had fish, haven't we? We've had quite a lot of fish, kind yeah, of. Yeah, quite a lot of fish, but not all of it, unfortunately. So we didn't really film loads. We wanted to film getting the halibut ready, didn't we? Yeah. So. Fish died. I think it was all trawlers. Yeah, we've been stuffed up a bit by netters. Obviously, as we've shown you, three or four boats just next to us, just. Yeah. So much fish. I can't believe how many nets were full. Yeah. Water tipping over. They're Norwegian guys, they know what they're doing. They just completely netted the whole area where we were fishing. <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. We're all right. But look, we're going to get off. This is day five. We're going to go out again tomorrow, aren't we? Yeah, I'll have it again tomorrow. So we'll bring you. Hopefully we get one. Try our best. Try our very best. As you know, we're just normal people like you, just love fishing. So thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Good night.